there, you're watching Market Glance, an overview of the top stories which may affect your trades as reported by Investing.com and brought to you by Dukascopy TV. The dollar ended the week lower against a basket of other major currencies on Friday as investors pushed back expectations for higher US interest rates. The dollar was lower against the yen for a sixth straight session on Friday with dollar yen at 118.93 in late trade. The dollar fell to two week lows against the Swiss franc with dollar franc sliding 0.43%. Euro dollar was up 0.43% late Friday, bringing the week's gains to 1.89%. The single currency strengthened in spite of concerns that Athens is no closer to reaching an agreement on economic reforms for bailout funds with its creditors, fueling fears that Greece could be forced out of the Eurozone. Asian shares were mixed on Monday, with Tokyo flipping between gains and losses and China's shares up after a weekend. The Shanghai Composite jumped 1.03%, while the Hang Seng Index eased 0.31%. On Sunday, China's central bank announced that it lowered the amount of deposit it requires banks to hold as reserves to 18.5% from 19.5%, effective April 20th in a surprise decision. The move came after official data showed that China's economy grew 7% in the first quarter. Data on industrial production, retail sales and fixed asset investment also fell short of forecasts, indicating that China needs to act to prevent a further slowdown in the economy. Gold prices ended above the $1,200 level on Friday as traders continued to mull over the timing of a Federal Reserve rate hike to gauge the appeal of the precious metal. On the COMEX division of the New York Mercantile Exchange, gold futures for June delivery tacked on 0.43% to settle at $1,203.10 a troy ounce by close of trade. Despite Friday's gain, gold prices dipped 0.12% on the week, snapping four straight weeks of gains. Elsewhere on the COMEX, silver futures for May delivery ended Friday's session at $16.22 a troy ounce, down 0.34%. Also in metals trading, copper for May delivery picked up 0.63% on Friday to settle at $2.79 a pound. <laughs> On the New York Mercantile Exchange, crude oil for delivery in May shed 1.71% to settle at $55.74 a barrel by close of trade. A day earlier, NYMEX oil prices hit $57.42, the most since December 23rd. Industry research group Baker Hughes said late Friday that the number of rigs drilling for oil in the US fell by 26 last week to 734. It's the lowest since 2010. It was the 19th straight week of declines. Elsewhere on the ICE Futures Exchange in London, Brent for June delivery slumped 53 cents or 0.83% on Friday to settle at $63.45 a barrel by close of trade. On Thursday, Brent rallied to $64.95, the highest level seen since December 11th. That's all for Marker Glance. Thanks for watching and keep tuning in to Dukascopy TV for our regular updates.